Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the area of a triangle. And remember, area is the amount of space or surface something covers. We can either use the formula base times height divided by two, or one half times base times height. Dividing by two and multiplying by one half are the same thing. They're going to give us the same result. So either formula will work and give us the correct area. Think about it. If we want to take half of something, we can either divide by two or multiply by one half. We will talk about why taking half of something relates to the area of a triangle in a little bit. Now for this video, I'm going to use the formula base times height divided by two. But again, either formula will work and they both mean the same thing. We are taking half of the base times the height. Let's jump into number one where we have a triangle with a base of eight feet and a corresponding height of six feet. We do not need this 10 feet right here in order to calculate the area. We have area equals base times height divided by two. Let's plug in the base and the height. The base is eight feet, so we have eight feet times the corresponding height of six feet, so eight times six divided by two. Now we can work through this. Eight times six gives us 48, and we have 48 divided by two here. 48 divided by two gives us an area of 24 square feet. So our final area for this triangle, again, 24 square feet. Now, as far as why we take half of the base times height, either by dividing by two or multiplying by one half, let's take a look right here. Now we have the same triangle, base of eight feet, height of six feet, but the triangle is doubled, so we have two of them, and we can fit them together to create a rectangle. So we have one triangle, two triangles, and since they are right triangles, they can fit together to create a rectangle. Now, if we aren't working with a right triangle, the triangles can still fit together to create a parallelogram. So this will still apply. We can use the formula base times height to find the area of a parallelogram. And if we are working with a rectangle, we may also hear length times width. So for the area of this parallelogram, specifically a rectangle, we have base times height. Let's write it over here. We have area equals base times height. Area equals, well, the base, we have eight feet times the height of six feet. Eight times six gives us an area of 48 square feet. And that's the area of the rectangle. Now we can see that the triangle is exactly half of the rectangle. So we can take half of the area of the rectangle to get the area of the triangle. So that's why we take half, either by dividing by two or multiplying by one half. Let's move on to number two, where we have a triangle with a base of nine meters and a corresponding height of four meters. So let's write our formula here. So area equals base times height divided by two. Now we can plug in. The base is nine meters times the height of four meters divided by two. Nine times four gives us 36. So we end up with 36 divided by two, which gives us an area of 18 square meters. Now, just to show again why we take half, I'm going to double this triangle. So let's make a copy of this triangle to create a parallelogram. So we have the copy of the triangle right here. It's not the best, but we have a parallelogram right here. So we have the base of nine times the height of four 
that gives us an area of 36 square meters for that parallelogram. And then we take half to find the area of the triangle. Let's move on to number three, where we have a triangle with a base of five yards and a corresponding height of 11 yards. Now this one looks a little confusing as far as how it's drawn out, but we are finding the area of this triangle right here. The dashed parts off to the side are to show the base being extended out. So we have the base right here, and then this part extends out, and we have the height going up from that extension. So the dashed parts are to show the height. So don't let it confuse you. Now we can calculate the area of this triangle. So we have area equals base times height divided by two. Let's plug in the base and the height. So the base is five yards times the height of 11 yards divided by two. Let's work through this now. Five times 11 is 55 divided by two. That gives us an area of 27 and a half or 27 and five tenths. And this is square yards. So final area, 27 and a half square yards. Let's make a copy of this triangle as well to show the parallelogram that we took half of. So this is the copy of the triangle and our parallelogram is right here. This parallelogram has a base of five yards and a height of 11 yards. Five times 11 gives us 55. So that parallelogram has an area of 55 square yards. We took half of that in order to find the area of the triangle. So there you have it. There's how to find the area of a triangle. We can use the formula base times height divided by two or one half times base times height. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.